Good morning. This is December 10th, 2020. And today you're going to talk to me alone. So today is day number 10. Oh, Jen, you're going to be so mad at me. What is peace? Is peace a feeling that you get? Or is peace an action that you take to make yourself be in a better headspace? Everybody struggles. Everybody has doubts. Everyone has fears and desires that they don't want to talk about. How do you find peace with those? How do you find peace with the things about you that you don't like? It takes both of those things. Peace is both an action and words and being and purpose. You have to be okay with not being okay. It's the only way you find peace. I'm out here sipping tea out of a mug that I won at an amateur dressage event. It was amateur for my age and how long I've been in the industry should be a lot further. I can't think about where I could be because that would take my peace from me. I have to think about where I am and where I am is better than I was before we did this. It's hard to look at the things around you and not see how you'd like them to be better. To not take the everyday things in life for granted because we're human. But true peace, you can't. You can't be truly happy unless you can be okay in your worst moments. When the entire world is going crazy, you need to be able to settle yourself. That settling of yourself can help settle others around you. And that's the whole point of peace, is to not just be peaceful with you, but to be peaceful with others and to spread your peaceful energy to others. That was John Lennon. He wanted to spread his peaceful energy to others through music, through words, through poetry, and through his actions. I'm trying to be a more peaceful human. I hope that others will join in this. Look at your life and everything that you can think of being the worst possible things. Lay them all out. Your whole spreadsheet of everything about your life that sucks. Everything about everything that sucks if you hate that grass is green i don't care everything that sucks okay for you and then think about how it could be worse well if you hate that grass is green what if there wasn't any grass 
take that take that minute to think about it. What would be the consequences of not having it? Without the grass, the herbivores can't eat. And if the herbivores can't eat, it doesn't take long and the carnivores can't eat. And no matter how scientifically advanced we are, if there's no animals and there's no trees, and there's no grass, there's no us. Finding peace is about finding a part of yourself that you didn't know was there. Right now I'm talking to myself. And it's the most rewarding conversation I've had in a long time. I hope that others join in and do this. Sit down with a camera or whatever, your phone. And just talk to yourself. Maybe pretend like you're talking to other people. Or maybe just have that conversation with yourself about things you'd like to see different and why you'd like to see them different. And then think if it could be worse. What would it look like? And when you really gather that worse scenario in your brain, I'm not talking about milling over it for a minute. I'm talking about mill over it. Give yourself some time to really think about what could be worse than where you're at. And if you can't find anything, look it up. It's always worse, always worse. Mill over that worse. Mill over it. Then come back to where you are. I am very blessed, very blessed. And I hope today that I'm able to bless somebody else with peace. Think about what you have, enjoy what you have, embrace what you have and spread peace wherever you go. Peace doesn't mean that you can't get angry. It's not what it means. It means that when you are angry, you understand why you're angry and you're okay with why you're angry. Peace is literally about being okay with who you are and what is going on. Be okay. Be happy with where you are. If you're angry, make sure it's a justified reason to be angry. Think. Use our advanced brain. It's there for a reason. Allow yourself to be wrong. Wrong a lot. Hell, I'm wrong multiple times a day. That's okay. Because the more I'm wrong, the more I'm gonna be right. Because I'm not being wrong on purpose. I don't know what I don't know. And that goes for everything. I don't know what I don't know about me. I don't know what I don't know about the people that are around me. I don't know what I don't know about my job, my car, this tree, this bench, whatever it is. I'm gonna embrace what it is that I don't know so that I can make my future full of things that I do know. And that's my peace. That's my peace. To be good with where I am, to be content. The word contentment I always used to view as a negative word because content you think, well, almost like unfazed. It's not that you're unfazed. It's just that whatever comes at you, you're able to handle it better. When you're content with where you are in life and who you are as a person, whatever comes your way, you can look at it through a clear lens. You don't have to worry about how it might make somebody feel or how the world might view your opinion or how your words might trigger somebody. Be your peace, be your peace. 
and others that feel your peace will resonate with you and they'll join in and talk about their peace. And then together you will be peaceful beings. So I had no idea what I was gonna come out here and talk about. I had a very good friend of mine, and I know you will watch this. I had a very good friend of mine tell me that I should take notes and gather my thoughts before coming to do this. He's absolutely right. But I didn't do it. Because my peace was in, I needed whatever needed to be said to come out. So that's why I didn't. Would it have been better and more put together and probably a more thorough conversation had I done that? Probably. Yeah. But you're talking to my heart right now. That's where I'm at. Honey spoon. Wildflower honey. Yum. Well, we've already established that that's yummy. And this is the tea <laughs> that Jenny wants to drink. Cheers, Jen. It's mm. good. can only imagine what you're saying right now while you're watching this. But I want you to know that I found peace in drinking the tea that you wanted to drink. You know why? Because I saved you some. <laughs> Everybody have a great day. Goodbye.